Hi everybody, it's Mike from here at the Watchman. And today here on the Watchman's Report, we are at the conference in Boise, Idaho, the signs in the heavenly. And I'm here with Dr. Michael Lake, who has a phenomenal presentation that he's gonna be giving tomorrow, uh, which will be streamed up to our uh, Vimeo platform. But he and I were just having a conversation and it involves the Snake River, it involves some of the occult that goes on up here, some of the things that his wife deals with in her book, and he has some interesting perspective about the eclipse. So, Michael, can you share a few words of that? Yeah, I was sharing with uh, some of the guests, maybe giving me information for a change. It's kind of nice when that happens. And uh, one of the ladies was raised in this area, and it's called Garden City because originally there were a lot of Japanese that had settled the area, they had all these beautiful gardens. And she began to tell me how the, um, some of the older ladies would tell her about all the cave systems that are in this area and how that there were occultists and, and witches and everything, they're very heavy influence in this area. And so I began, okay, now the, the eclipse is going through here. Uh, did a little research and the city that we that we were from that all this stuff happened in Mary is, is called Dixon, Missouri and the eclipse is going through there. In fact, this itty bitty town is having over 6,000 people gather there just to see the eclipse. And so knowing how the occult works, uh, with everything that's going on with uh, the leftist movement, the communists are trying to raise up, they'll, they use occult power for that. And I think they're trying to use the power of the eclipse in that the, the moon god or the moon goddess will overcome the sun to try to draw psychic energy from that to fuel the civil war. And, uh, but one of the things they forgot is the eclipse happens on the first day of Teshuvah, the Jewish calendar, which is connected to the end times. Uh, it, it, Teshuvah, this, this 40 day period is connected. The first time Moses went up and got the Ten Commandments and came down and they had the golden calf and all that. Uh, they, they, they learned, you know, when he goes up for 40 days, we don't do that. Well, the second time that he went up is the period of Teshuvah that Israel uh, repented and sought God the whole time that Israel was there. Moses came down the mountain on the Day of Atonement, wow. which, is, which is a type and shadow of, of the return of Christ. And so I think we can flip the switch on this. We're going to pray some things. As, as I'm, I'm adding to my presentation because now I have more information. I think we're going to pray some things, and instead of seeing civil war break out, I believe that if the remnant will raise up and pray, we'll see God do spot judgment on the enemy. Because the, uh, the rabbis will teach you a full eclipse always talks about judgment from God. And I want God to judge the elite for the, for the evils and the atrocities that they have done. And I, I think we can see it begin during the conference this weekend. Amen. Well, Michael, thank you, folks. There you have it. Lots of stuff going on. We're going to have more interviews with Dr. Lake, the other speakers here later today and all through the weekend. Be a part of it. Get subscribed to our channel. Listen to what these men have to say. And please, pray, pray, pray. There will be a million people up here in Boise, Idaho for this experience. Let's make something really happen. God bless you guys. Talk again soon.